Yo, welcome back to the channel. I got a good one for you today. So we're here on the other farm here. This is another identical to the farm that we go mudding and everything on with the other Duramax. So uh, this might be Carl's farm, you could say. But uh, we're over here with Carl, and uh, we're gonna drive on this 30 foot long, 10 foot tall hog barn uh, that's kind of fallen apart and dilapidated. So the roof, we're gonna drive up on the roof, the freaking roof of the hog barn that is about uh, eight feet tall. Um, so it's pretty dilapidated. It's not looking good. So if you look under here, as you see, we kind of have some junk in here or some choice valuables. We got to remove some of that before we can drive up on the roof down there. But, uh, there's my four wheeler. Um, that's where that was. Anyways, uh, this is the ceiling that the whole freaking truck is going to be on. The F-350 is going to be on top of this. So I'd hate to be under here when it's up there. And I kind of don't want to be up there, but it's going to be fun. So uh, you can kind of see these rafters aren't even sitting on anything. Um, and then over here, <laughs> look at this. We have this freaking rotten spot. So that'll be interesting. But other than that, it seems like a responsible, you know, normal idea. Something your everyday average person would might do. So uh, yeah, anyways, we're going to prop up some of these boards down there. Uh, we're going to put them on the roof. I'll go over and show you that. Here's the exterior. Um, this has been here probably at least a hundred years with the farm. Uh, so as you can see, the framing is obviously not quite square anymore. Um, so that's the roof. This is where we're going to be going up. So that's probably a five foot drop, uh, at least here at the end. So, uh, here's where we're going to prop all these boards up. They'll be right on top of there. So a few scenarios that could happen. Uh, we're just going to drive right up it and off the other side, like it's no big deal and nothing will happen or we'll drive up it and it will just slowly like kind of flatten underneath us like we're on solid ground, I guess. And then uh, the third option is that, uh, you know, we have some difficulties along the way. What was that? Oh, dude. And then, you know, just the third and final option that could happen is we're just casually driving over the roof of this and uh, oops, we hit a rotten spot and uh, everyone goes to the ER room with missing limbs and the whole truck is down here upside down and it lights on fire and explodes and all that. All right, so we're gonna get all this stuff pulled out of here. We got this wagon and stuff. We're just gonna hook up to that with a truck and pull it out and then prop this up and we'll be ready to go up on top. The building doesn't come with the wagon. Hey, bye. I've been out till the, I've been up since three in the morning doing stuff. <laughs> you know, maybe we'll hook a chain to this and uh, we'll have Nick ride in the canoe while we pull it up over the roof. Wait, what? <laughs> For anyone wondering, no, I do not have skinny jeans on. I swear I bought these and I swear they shrunk like three sizes. This is why I don't wash my clothes anymore because I washed them and they shrunk. So I stopped washing my stuff a long time ago after that happened. But... Oh, there we go. Nice hand. Ah, it's full of glass. Ah! <sighs> this shed was kind of my childhood, so it's going to be sad to see it go. Because when I was about 11, it was kind of like into parkour. So this was like a whole parkour facility. <laughs> test it out. We're going to bounce them down as hard as we can, make sure all the rafters are nice and settled. So uh, let's see what happens. It's going down. It's, it's probably a foot lower than what it was a little bit ago. So. Literally the entire building all the way out to the other end is moving. Look at that when I bounce. like a freaking sea of metal across there. It's a very good chance someone's gonna get sent to the emergency room tonight. If those go down and this doesn't, then the truck is gonna roll over about four times on the way down. And we don't have a roll cage and uh, that cab is like cardboard right now. So we're just gonna ride across the whole thing real fast. So we'll see what happens. If we roll, we roll. Nothing we can do about it. <laughs> Ah! Okay. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> all right, so we got a little bit of a ramp going here. These are all like really native oak boards. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if there's some uh, middle-aged women that get really pissed off that we're destroying these because they like to build like nightstands and stuff out of them. <laughs> it's a good thing we're not using pallets or we probably get shot. <laughs> If you're watching this, I'm probably dead. That's because I drove my F350 on 40 inch boggers with a 460 motor and at 40 miles an hour up this hog shed, 10 feet in the air, flattened out the whole roof. Nick's probably dead too because he probably fell when the roof caved in and got pinned underneath the truck full throttle RPM. And then it probably just grenaded because the motor is pegged out. Anyways, I have this sparkly pink helmet. Um, I made that myself. Oh, it's soaking wet. We're just gonna send it. We're back all the way up there and just redline it all the way up this shed. All right, so this truck here has a push button start. Nothing left in this. Oh, dude, did I get a flat tire yet? I don't think so. Holy crap! <laughs> yeah, that went way better is, than planned, <laughs> dude. That is so. Oh, my fender's a little messed up. Crap. Uh, well, I'll have to get that buffed out, dude. That is gnarly. I thought you did get a flat. I know. I, I thought I heard. <laughs> I thought I got 20 flat, dude. <laughs> So we're gonna go underneath again and uh, just hang out down there. We'll probably put a table up. And uh, Nick's, <laughs> Nick has a look of genuine fear. Oh, <laughs> that is so cool. That building is supporting an entire truck right now. Dude, yes. All those rafters are like just snapped right in the middle. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's crawl up under here. I'm gonna crawl up under there and just see what it's like, you know, to safety first. Oh man, that's like, okay, we gotta get out of there, man. That's not good. <laughs> the whole freaking side of the building is separated. Concrete foundation is gone. We're gonna bring Carl up onto the silo here. It matches that shed, look at that. So uh, we gotta do the silo next, probably. Next video, we're going up on top of this silo with Carl. So
Uh, he's leaking oil extremely bad. That was like uh, super hard on the truck. It ran away. That's why we're all the way over here. I couldn't stop. The truck wouldn't steer. So uh, I think we tore something up. I'm going to try to get back to the house before Kathy's is on fire. So. Oh man! Dude. Leaking oil everywhere. It is just dumb. Carl's kind of. <laughs> Carl needs some help now, guys. Uh, we'll probably send him over to LP24 Valves Truck Hospital to get taken care of. Uh, he needs probably to go to the ER room right now. But, um, anyways. This was fun, this was a lot of fun. This truck was $18,000. I think it was worth every penny. <sighs> Good night, Carl. Well, that was a lot of fun. Once again, thanks for watching everyone. Have a great night.